Hello, welcome back to Bitcoin Beats. Wait for the draw. Hope you're having a fantastic day here. My name is Hamilton. I am going to be walking through the Bitcoin markets today. So get ready because there's a lot of stuff to talk about, right? We're going to be going through the short term for Bitcoin, the mid term for Bitcoin, the long term for old Bitcoin here and some other stuff as well, including Ethereum, Link and Dot and just what measure moves follow and how we're going to be playing this throughout the future or we, how we would play it if we were trading alts, right? A little bit of like a forecast for you guys, I guess, right? But not financial advice on this channel, I have to say that, right? And uh, all educational stuff here. Also have a webinar tonight, completely free to attend if you would like to attend that. Gonna be... Uh, uh, yeah, just sign up on the website. I'll drop you an invite via email and then you'll get a link to that webinar But without further ado guys, what's happened here with old Bitcoin? What is going on here? What is Guanin up in here? Bitcoin in the streets, what's Guanin up in here? What can we see? We can see that yes, we had this long zone, this trap zone and this chill out wait zone, right? And we were down here uh, or we were somewhere around here, right? Uh, in the video yesterday. Was that right? Is that right here? Oh no, it was like down here, right? Yeah, so yeah, we, we were chilling, saying, hey, if we don't get over this trap zone, no long, no go, if, it, if we don't get over the trap zone, right? Uh, and then, uh, just in the early hours of this morning here, which I didn't actually put in the Telegram, guys, just because I was asleep, right? And it was more of like, a, what I'll do, I'll have a plan before I go to bed, right? And you guys might want to do this as well, if you, if you do get to that kind of profitable stage, where it's like, hey, um, if this happens overnight, set an alarm and then uh, literally just wake up, execute your trade, your stop loss, your take profits, and then go back to sleep, right? I do that now without even really, like I barely remember getting in this trade, to be honest, guys. It was like, yep, yeah, okay, checks out, bap, 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 get in a trade, go back to sleep, right? So I didn't really update you guys this morning because it was pretty early, uh, and then as a result of that, I did get up a little bit later just, just because, um, yeah, I... I <laughs> I've, I've lost out on some beautiful REM sleep there, but what can we say? What can we do? We actually got in along basically around 50 uh, 300, which is basically on the retest of this, which we talked about yesterday, right? If we're over this bad boy and we can retest it, it's good, right? A more healthy retest here, uh, as I like to say, would be something like that we curl over, then we retest, and then we go back up, and then we long as we get over that, right? But we know uh, a lot more FOMO is in the air right now. It is going to be a bit more volatile, so I would take this as a retest, and this is why I said as well, uh, I might be looking to go down to a 15 minute just to see how that plays out. But even that was pretty violent and then uh, it did just want to test up quite a lot here. So um, yeah, what I did here, I was basically saying, hey, yes, this retest is good enough. We're coming back up now. We got over 50. Uh, we got over basically this high here, right? Uh, and then I was like, yeah, okay, that's enough for me uh, to get in this long and look for that measure move, right? And what I did there was essentially just as we planned, right? have my take profits just below these lines, uh, and then we are good, right? So what am I doing now? Basically, I've hit my take profit. I'm waiting on the hourly here for our 55. Come on, mate. Come on, mate. Load. There we go. Yeah, for our 55 to get above our entry. That is currently at 49.2. So if we did dump off a cliff right now, we would actually take a bit of a loss, right? But uh, if this comes up here uh, to our entry, which is around here, which is a little bit high, right? But um, if we can get if we can get uh, this up to our entry, then that is good. If we did dump off a cliff right now, uh, we'd be looking at like a 2% loss, uh, which isn't too bad because we already hit a take profit of 1%, right? But uh, overall, it would be a loss because we still have a fair amount in this trade, right? So we'll see how this does play out. But right now, our take profit, uh, sorry, our stop loss is going to be up and trailing with this 55 as we come through. So we'll see if it does play out that way. And obviously, I'll be trading this manually to adjust that Um over the day because it's not looking great to be honest guys it does look like this momentum is coming down but we can still bounce up here quite easily so we'll see how that goes but that's basically what's happened that's basically my positions in terms of predictions here the long-term predictions what can we say <laughs> coming through here we have this massive 
good food channel coming through here, right? This big old beefy boy here. None of this Happy Meal stuff. Just big beefy chicken and nugget bat wraps channels all over your face here. Those breakfast wraps, we love them, right? We do. <laughs> but anyway, right? We hit this. We retest this. We're outside our trap zone. Good to go here, right? If we got a wick over here and then came down and closed this candle into the trap zone, then yeah, it's a no-go. Don't take the trade. Like, that's fine. But we closed over. We came down. We tested this. It, it instantly became a support and we were like, yeah, get in, bang it up, right? So uh, in terms of predictions here, we do have this measure move from one side to the other, which we did kind of clean up yesterday, right? And that in itself, uh, just from, I would say, breaking point. You can do it from here, from here. If you do it from here, it's gonna be a little bit higher of a measure move and it might line up a bit better with our next target here if that does come through. What can we say? Uh, 53.2, we'll say, right? 53.2, what are we saying here? Uh, no, not even close, right? So maybe, maybe we have some more sideways to go here, but uh, it's not too far off, right? If we did get a bit of FOMO coming in, 53.2 is very much in the realm of possibility. And then we can talk about getting over this volume wasted ATR band uh, and then literally just retesting it and then maybe starting a bit of a beefier uptrend here coming through, right? Um, so yeah, what would I say is going to happen here? If we don't get over this volume wasted ATR band, if we stay below 51.8, here, guys, over today, then I am expecting basically to come down and just play this out towards the downside, right? But I'm not expecting just a big dump off a cliff. I'm more expecting, and obviously that can happen. We've got to be prepared for every scenario, right? But what I'm more expecting is uh, bounces off these moving averages, as we said, right? Uh, maybe creating some other pattern here, and then we can look for a measure move out of that pattern as we do kind of progress over it and continue the run upwards, right? And that would be up to 53.8, right? Which, uh, is this right? No, this is 53.8 too. So, uh, yeah, 53... Yeah, I mean, this is an area to watch for sure for the major take profits, but we did talk about before, right? We talked about um, uh, this, the the bigger patterns we've had before coming through, uh, and some of those bigger measure moves here are around this 51, 52 zone, and this is why I've said, hey, be cautious with your moves here, because if we do dump, uh, it's kind of to be expected on these higher time frames, right? So that's kind of what I'm looking for here for this to come up. That would be my prediction. Uh, the most likely scenario here is just to lose some momentum, bounce off these moving averages, whatever. Uh, if we do just go sideways and, and stay below this bad boy, right? If we do bounce off this moving average and get above it, then I'm expecting a bit more of a, a run here, a bit more of a pumpa rumpa. Get over this, this beautiful... Um, this beautiful volume-weighted ATR band, which we know and love. If you guys don't know what this is... I mean, I explain it every video, but I will explain it again for you guys. Don't worry. Don't, I'm here for you guys, right? I'm here. For, no affiliate links, no sponsors. We're just here to teach you the educational ways. The educational ways to trade, right? Uh, it's all about making that money at the end of the day. So uh, if you like that, give it a little like. Spread that love to other people so they don't fall for the affiliate trap here. <laughs> uh, but what can we say here? Yes, if we're above the volume weighted ATR band, we can say yes. Uh, an uptrend is quite likely. Um, yes, we can trap above it, right? But even that, I mean, uh, you could have made a nice trade off of, to be honest, guys. Um, there's still a couple thousand bucks there. So, or a thousand bucks, was it? Yeah, a thousand bucks there, which is quite good, right? Uh, but the main point here, if we're in a sustained uptrend, guys, a sustained uptrend, uh, we're above this volume waste ATR band like you can see, right? And that's kind of what I'm hoping for. But uh, I mean, we have to look at this from a non-biased perspective, right? As long as we are below this bad boy, we should really be expecting to maybe come back down as low as 47, to be honest, guys, if, uh, if we do reject here, right? But uh, as of right now, and that's not a prediction, it's just like, uh, if momentum stops here completely and we don't get any more momentum here, uh, then yes, a fall through here is fairly expected as we've been talking about all week, right? And yes, we are long here because it makes sense in a probable scenario, analytical perspective, right? In terms of probability, it makes sense to be long here. Uh, just play out this measure move, uh, take some profit, maybe another take profit here would be great. Uh, and then we just look for that next pattern, right? But that's what I would say there, uh, and you guys know, right, if we lose this 55 here at 49.2, then uh, I would expect to come down to basically 47 again, right? So yes, we've cleared 50k, yes, there are walls there, but uh, we should not just write it off now and, and say we're going up because that would be a little naive here in Bitcoin land. That's what I would say there. That is the short term predictions, right? We are long. We are chilling. We've hit a take profit already. We really just want this to go sideways here, right? Uh, if it goes up, great, right? If it goes sideways, great because this comes up. Our trailing stop loss here comes up, which means uh, our, our, our trade is going to be better, right? It means we're going to be stopped out either at a break even or in profit, which is money, right? At the end of the day, that's what we're after. Uh, so yeah, securing that profit, maintaining, managing this trade well uh, is going to be good here. If we do just dump off a cliff though, we've got to be prepared for that. Uh, and it would be kind of brutal, but 
I mean, guys, we've had a good year. We're chilling here. We're low leverage. I'm not, I'm not leveraged here, guys. I don't need to be. It's uh, And it's not me personally that doesn't need to be. No one needs to be leveraged in these markets. We are moving like 10% every day. Why would you bother risking so much when you can make so much without any risk at all? Bit of a girthy megalodonetic dump coming through here. We'll see if this does play out towards the downside. But uh, yeah, I mean... We'll see as well. Uh, those of you who attended the webinar last week as well, guys, uh, we are just hitting this, and we'll, 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 I'll walk you through this tonight here, but uh, yeah, interesting stuff here, um, and you guys know what to do there. You know what to do there. I'm not giving signals here though, right? Uh, so, so, midterm here for old Bitty. What can we see? What can we do? Mars coin is coming for you, apparently, according to Elon. Um, what can we say here with this measure? Brief? I would say this is fairly close to played out. I mean, if we're looking at, if we put a percentage on this in terms of this being played out, right? 1%, this is something that, yeah, coming down from here uh, is, is fairly expected. Again, we've hit our take profit. What we really want is sideways, okay? What we really want is sideways. But if it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. Again, Bitcoin will do its own thing at the end of the day. So... Uh, we'll see if that does come into fruition or we'll see if uh, it does get obliterated, right? Uh, what I would say here for the midterm, uh, in terms of tonight, I would expect a bit of a pump tonight, okay? Uh, and that's just based on previous results. I've seen lots and lots of pumps on Wednesdays, specifically when I'm doing my webinars, <laughs> which is quite annoying, but uh, what can you do? Uh, so we'll see. If, if it does come down here over today, we come down test 50k one more time, bang it up on this moving average, uh, fairly expected retesting this trend line as well fantastic stuff uh, and then just banging it up for another nice uh, potential girthy gain coming through here uh, again midterm here same kind of scenario coming through we can say hey yes 46.6 if we lose that potential to come down to 39 i think that's quite a stretch here i don't think we'll come down to 39 uh, i think maximum 40k if uh, we do get the big megalodonithic dumperino coming through right but uh in terms of uh in terms of a, in terms of a pump arena, right? I, I do think, I do think we are breaking through here. I do think it is quite bullish, but um, I mean, who knows, right? Who knows right now? Uh, we'll see if this does, because this is pretty standard as a pullback. Um, but we'll see. I, I did say around this area, right? This of it, of all the areas for the round of blues, this is the most cautious to be in, just based on the the measure moves we've talked about in the past, right? And the fact that yes, a lot of moves and a lot of areas are. Are, are pretty significant resistances around this zone, right? So if we were to get a trade, it would be take profit here, right? Let this come up to our entry, right? And then just leave that and wait for the next trade, right? If it does come down, great. If it continues up, I mean, we can react accordingly with the measure moves, right? But in terms of the blue boxes right now, it is okay to be a bit more cautious. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. If we get above this volume weight the ATR band as well, good stuff. Great stuff coming through, right? Uh, moving to the long term. The long term coming through. What can we see? What can we do? Yeah, I've got to stop saying that. <laughs> I, I'm annoying myself by saying that at this point. But um, yeah, okay. We've opened a new 12 hour here. A uh, bit of an expected dump as you could kind of foresee, right? A dump here at the start of a 12 hour candle isn't necessarily a bad thing, okay? Uh, a lot of the time with new candles, right? I've seen in Bitcoin and anyway, we'll go in a direction and then we'll trap and then we'll go the other direction uh, throughout the rest of that candle, right? So uh, that could be something that's happening here, or we could just come back down and just continue our sideways, dirty, chop, chop action here, chop suey action, right? Wake up. That's what we're after here, right? So if, if we if we basically stay above this 10 simple here on a 12 hour, that is going to be good. Okay, that's coming in around 48.7. Okay, as long as that is is the air well as long as we're above that area i'm happy for this to continue as an uptrend right uh, right now this is a bit overextended i will say but um we'll see we'll see if this does come in it could just be sideways all day and then continuation or we could just fall off slowly but surely down to 46 right so we'll see how that goes um one thing i will say around this area for sure don't use high leverage don't use any leverage i would say right if you are trading this it doesn't make sense this is the probably one of the most trappier areas that we've been in we've had some good trades right we've had some good opportunities uh, let's not push the boat out here and let's just chill right let's chill uh, let's see how this reacts and uh worst case scenario here we come down we test the price action channel we bounce up and then we get another golden trade here which is going to be a lot more plausible and a lot healthier to take here if we come down test this price action channel so if we do that right and then we come back up 
We get over this, boom, girthy gains, take profit all the way up, golden stuff here, right? Golden stuff. And I am in a long still, I am chilling, okay? And you can see I'm, I'm calm with this, right? If this just, if it comes down, it comes down, right? What can you do? <laughs> but uh, that's kind of what I would say there for the predictions. As long as we're above all these moving averages, fantastic stuff, right? You know this, right? If we're in an uptrend, we're above all major moving averages, right? Uh, if we're pulling back and we, we lose those moving averages, it's sideways action, right? We're not necessarily looking for shorts ever in this kind of market because uh, it just makes sense to be looking uh, for longs if we're above the bull market barrier, right? That's the way it goes. Moving on. Okay, uh, let's let's do a 24-hour quickly and then we'll uh, we'll move on. Um, yeah, still above everything, still looking pretty good on this. We'll see if this does turn out to be good. Did we close over? Yeah, we did close over yesterday for our daily candle, which is very, very good, but we didn't test down to begin with, right? So uh, maybe we, we come down by the end of the day, which would suck, okay? But what can you do, guys? Again, got to let us it do its thing. We've already hit take profit. We're chilling. Ideal scenario here is really sideways, okay? Because we are expecting rejection around here, okay? Um, so that's what I would say there. And that is pretty much it for Bitcoin. Let's bring it up and over to Ethereum to begin with here. Ethereum actually looking pretty tasty here. If we're looking for a Big Mac tasty beefy meal coming through, right? A Big Mac chicken wrap a beefy meal coming through, right? Uh, we can say, hey, yes, we've broken over our resistance line here. We've got a nice triangle coming through. We've got a beautiful measure move from that triangle. And I'm going to actually make this a bit shorter just based on the fact that it's one side to the other, right? And we can say, hey, where does that lead us? All the way up. All the way up to... 1888, right? Well, around there anyway, right? So 1880, which would line up with our volume weighted ATR band on the four hour, which is pretty good, okay? If we can get above there, we can stay here. Uh, sorry, if we can get up here, great. If we get above the volume weighted ATR band as we talk about, right? I don't want to be too uh, broken recordy here, but yeah, that is a good area as well. Um, and we got to look for those other measure moves coming through as well if that does happen, right? So uh, yeah, that's what I would say there for old Ethereum. And if we do come down from here, I mean, not great. I would say yes, testing this area 1650 is is plausible as well. So again, yeah, just be careful here. Okay, as I said, a rejection here is potentially expected, but uh, not too bad anyway. See if this trade has gone wrong. Uh, not too bad so far. Not too bad. Not too bad. But we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, but that is basically a Ethereum, right? I don't want to be spending too much because it's literally so close to what Bitcoin's doing anyway, right? Uh, dot. Dot. On the other hand, here. Hmm. Not great. But you can see this is disgusting. Look at this. Absolutely disgusting. I have said this with dot, right? It's an asset. Yes, I am holding it. This isn't dot. This is link. <laughs> This is link, right? Carry on. Still waiting for my coffee to hit me. As I said, lack of sleep tonight. And this is why, as a trader, guys, you need to prioritize your sleep, right? You really do. Uh, but yeah, this is still disgusting, right? This is filthy link action. Like, um, I'm not actually used to link doing something like this. This is this is really dirty, actually. Um, but we can see, right? We had our we had our channel. We played out our measure move, and now we've come back. We've retraced to this trend line, uh, and this is just being dirty traps. Look at this, disgusting, right? If it does come up, um, we don't really have a measure move to talk about because this is just like this is pretty gross, right? Um. If we could go down to an hourly, maybe we can see it better. It just looks very, very trappy right now. Not something that I would personally trust here. But you can see, yes, we broke this triangle that we drew in yesterday. We came down, we played out pretty much the measurement we talked about down to this 200. Uh, and that is that. Uh, Dunsies, right? And now potentially coming up here, potentially grinding up. But this price action in general, not nice, not good. That 12 hour, what is that? Get away. I don't like it. I want it to stop. <laughs> right? Um... So yes, what's next here? Pick up a check and I flex here. Let's take a look at dot. We can see that, uh, yeah, uh, where did we draw this? We do this on the four hour, right? Yeah, four hour. We can say, hey, yes, uh, potential for more moves towards the upside here. But as I was about to say here, dot doesn't really like to play out moves as you'd expect. Dot actually is a lot more trappy because it is a, a newer coin on the block, right? Um, so there, there are different people behind it, et cetera, et cetera, manipulating the old markets. But uh, that being said, if we were to look at this measurement from a pure technical analysis perspective, $33.48 here. That's that's kind of what I'm looking for here, right? Again, I am not uh, trading this. I'm just holding this. I have a fair chunk of dot here. I got in at five bucks. I am <laughs> cautiously optimistic with this coin at the moment because uh, it's become 
it's become an irresponsible amount of my portfolio because it's, it's made me so much, right? Um, and that's not a boast. This is a, a logical perspective, right? So I'm saying, okay, this is this investment has become a bit too big to hold now. Maybe I should think about selling some, right? Um, whether greed will allow me to do that or not <laughs> is up for debate because at the end of the day, guys, my plan here was to hold these for a year, right? And this is already done however many X here, right? If we bring this up from $5, um, and again, I'm not really boasting here. This is just what a plan I, I came into fruition with, right? It just made, it's an obvious choice, right? Um, Bitcoin goes up, and we've talked about this before, right? Bitcoin goes up, then it goes sideways. That's sideways money. People don't want to trade, so they take their money and they put it into altcoins, and then altcoins go up, right? Uh, and this will be a repetitive cycle going back and forth until the bull run is done, okay? And this is this is just the facts, right? This is how it works. So, um, yeah, economically, that just makes sense to do, right? And we've made some ridiculously girthy gains on this. Um, so what I will say with this is, yeah, I mean, should I take 470% here? Probably, yes. <laughs> and uh, w my rule here is always, if I am unsure, okay, and if it is something that I, I've made a lot of money with and... I don't want to lose that money and I'll kick myself if I lose that money if we go back down to 10 bucks now, right? Um, that's just a natural reaction what people do, right? Uh, so yeah, to avoid that scenario, what what I'm probably going to do here uh, and my, my number one rule usually when I make this much money on, a, on an investment is to say, hey, let's just take 50%. If it goes up, I got 50% in, still making money. If it goes down, I'm, I've cashed out. Uh, and I've, I've still basically made 200%, right? That's a that's a pretty nice thing. And that would be down to 19 bucks anyway, which is still a plausible area to get to. So yeah, that's that's what I would say here. Just updating you guys on the way I'm thinking about my investments as well, right? Not just the trading side, but uh, obviously altcoins are for investing rather than trading personally anyway, just because they're less predictable in that sense. So still pretty parabolic though. In terms of like a actual analysis here, I mean, it just goes up. Look at this thing. Girthy. Ridiculous. Rachel, Adadeji, I really, really like this coin. Uh, I think it has a lot of potential, potentially an e Ethereum killer here. Uh, and some people are literally saying this could go up to 100, right? I'm not going to follow that FOMO here. I am probably going to take uh, soon, as soon as this does look a bit bearish here, uh, I will say yes, maybe I'll take 50% uh, and, and let this come down a bit. And maybe a re-enter, right? Maybe a re-enter down at wherever we get to <laughs> if a big dump does come through, right? Uh, but apart from that, guys, yes, uh, we do still have this measure move up to 33. Uh, so that's going to be an area to watch. If we do get up there, great. Okay, if we don't get up there and we come down, then yeah, I'll be looking to exit some of my position here at 20. 26, but um, that isn't confirmed yet. Okay, I might just say screw it. Let's hold it. We're doing well the year um, This is a coin. I have faith in this is blah 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 right the TA does look good Okay on the, on the higher time frames. This is just a, a nice uptrend, right? So why why uh, why just get group? Why? What, how do I put this? <laughs> why? Um, I Don't even know. I don't know. I'm tired. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, um it's probably the first time I've like lost my my trail of thought in a video like that in probably like seven months or something like that. Pretty crazy stuff. But yeah, um, the, the main point of this, guys, the main point here is um, it's going well. OK, it's going well. Let's just let this run. OK, that's the other side of this. Right. Uh, it's, a, it's a good, healthy uptrend. Why? Why? Uh, why take it? Right. Um, basically, why short? I short the bottom or something, right? That's pretty much it. But we'll see. Um, a pullback here is potentially expected on the the higher time frames, anyway. Uh, so yeah, maybe if it does look pretty bad on these these mid to low time frames, so yeah, maybe I'll take a little bit out. But uh, as of right now, looking pretty good, uh, and I can't really hate this. Okay, uh, and that's pretty much it. That's gonna be it for the video. Yes. Um, that's it. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. If you're liking this, drop a little like. Let me know what you're thinking about all these this stuff that's going on in the comments section. Um, and you guys know my summary here for Bitcoin, right? Um, let's see how this goes. Let's see uh, if we can get a nice bit of profit coming through here um, on this long. But again, really, I'm happy for this to go sideways here. We've already hit a take profit. Let's not get greedy with it. This is an area we're expecting potentially a rejection, right? So uh, as as these moving averages come up here, this is the really one I'm, I'm watching for. If we can let this come up over a few hours today, right? Uh, and then get to our entry, then whatever happens, it's fine because we cannot lose, right? That's the point. So that's the video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank you
from Bitcoin Beach.